Welcome back to Inspiring Builds. I'm Dan, and in this video, I'll show you how to change your headlight bulbs on your Jeep Grand Cherokee the easy way and save $200 or more dollars at the dealership. I'll also provide the link in the description for these LED bulbs that last much longer and makes it safer to see on the road as shown at the end of the video. The manufacturer makes these access panels under the fender well, but unless you're a contortionist or have baby hands, it seems like the impossible task. The easier way is under the hood for better access. For the driver's side, the air filter and box need removed. Loosen the clamp on the intake boot with a flathead screwdriver and pull it away. Disconnect the hose. If needed, use a flathead screwdriver to carefully pry it loose. The air filter cover is held on by two clips and you simply flip them down. Remove the air filter cover and set it aside. Remove the air filter and now is a good time to inspect it and change it out if needed. The air filter body is held on with these grommets. If it's never been removed, it will require a good amount of force to pull it up as shown. Lastly, remove the clip by carefully prying up on the weather stripping and then the air filter body can be removed to gain access to the bulb. If you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss any of these tutorials. We are changing the low beam headlight bulbs specifically. The low beam bulbs have a cover on them that needs removed counterclockwise. Remove the headlight bulb and the low beams are H11 bulbs that have a blue marking. When replacing the bulbs, I wanted to ensure the base was the same. These LEDs were a bit longer, but ended up fitting good. Fasten the new bulb until it clicks in, and then test the bulb before putting everything back together. Install everything in reverse order with the bulb first, then the bulb cover. Place the air filter body over the pins and ensure the grommets are intact and pushed down. Snap in the clip on the weather stripping, install the air filter and then the air filter cover. Push on the two clips, screw down the intake boot clamp, and lastly slide on the air hose. I find the passenger side a bit easier. Push in the clip to hold the ECU, lift up on the ECU, and simply set it aside for access to the bulb. The same as the driver's side, the low beam bulb has a cover that will need removed counterclockwise to gain access to the bulb. It's possible to remove the cover with your right hand, but the way the bulb was positioned, I found it easier to use my left hand with the bulb removal. If your bulb is stuck, I've had success using a small section of 3 quarter inch thin wall PVC. I cut a groove in it about 3 quarters of an inch back that will fit around the base of the bulb that will allow you to easily turn it. Install the new LED bulb until it clicks in and install in reverse order by putting the bulb in first, then screw on the cap, and lastly slide the ECU back on the bracket. Watch the test drive as you will see how well these light up on the road without any street lights and save me from hitting any deer the first night. I really appreciate you watching. If you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, share, and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I release new videos.